large language models have really revolutionized the world. Maybe that's a big thing to say right now, but one thing they have surely done is to make AI mainstream. Now, almost everybody I know has used ChatGPT, from Nigeria to the US to Qatar to Germany to India all around the world. People, older generation, younger generation are using ChatGPT. They're using it to write messages, to edit emails, to come up with ideas, to solve math problems, which I must say is really not what it's made for. But the truth is there that people are now more aware than ever of the capabilities of AI and how much AI can have an impact on our lives. One good thing is that you have platforms like Nime, which make these models easily accessible to you. You don't need to know a lot of code to use these models, and you can also create workflows to use them on your personal or on your company's data. Now, of course, going to ChatGPT works, but if you have a lot of different prompts you need to send, it makes a lot more sense to use a software like Nime to create something to handle all of this data inputs that you have. And you might want to do this in a production flow, which makes Nime indispensable and you really cannot be going to ChatGPT every minute that you get a new request. So I'm going to be showing you in this series a couple of the large language models, nodes, that you could use in Nine. Now these nodes are under the community nodes. You have AI agent nodes, you have model nodes. Of course, we have OpenAI, which pretty much started this whole conversation. They were not the first to do it, but they were, they were the first to do it best, I would say. But you know what? The competition is really catching up there. You also have the Azure nodes, which are very important if you deal with sensitive data and your company needs to retain control over where this data is processed and stored. We have the GPT for all nodes, which is open source, and this, I believe, installs on your computer. And you have the hug and face models. You have vector stores as well, which are very, very important if you need to connect your own data to these large language models. Now, to get these nodes, you need to install an extension. You need to install, let's search here for LLM. You need to install from the NIME community extensions, the NIME AI extensions labs. This one would have those nodes for you. And I'll also paste a link where you can just grab this off of the NIME hub if that's easier for you. So I wanted this to be nice, short, and sweet. I'm gonna be going directly into the first node in the next video. And at the end, when I've showed you the main nodes, you really need to do something. We're going to do a fun little use case that is pretty close to my heart. We're going to rewrite some text for a pretty good cause. So stick around for that, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, and goodbye.